Stage Report. I'm your host, Sam. Today is Thursday, October 3rd. Let's go to reporter Daniel. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the top story. I'm your reporter, Daniel. Um, so, this October 4th, this Friday, is Fight Night, and the tickets is on the doors. And it includes rides and haunted houses. And it gonna be fun, and I can't wait to go. And it's gonna be a lot of fun going into the haunted houses, and it's gonna be awesome, good fun. So that is it for the top story. I'm I'm your reporter Daniel. Bye for now. Back to you, Sam. Thanks for the great story, Daniel. Now let's go to our shows. Hi, I am back with another update. But this update is about the Jewish holidays. And, um,. So, today and tomorrow, it's two days for Rosh Hashanah, um, it is a sweet new year because it's all about apples and honey. And um, next week it is Yom Kippur, so next, next Saturday I'm going to be fasting all day until until sundown and it is a bit hard but i have done this so many years and i am really good at it so that's the those are the jewish holidays that i will be celebrating and i will come back with more on my my updates bye for now Welcome to Chore Tips. I'm your host, Sam. Today, I'm going to be telling you the steps how to make toast for breakfast. Step one, get the bread out. Step two, put the bread in the toaster. Step three, put the peanut butter on. Step four, put the jam on and spread them. Spread the peanut butter. When you put the peanut butter on, spread that out. And when you put the jam on, spread that out as well. And then... That's how you make toast for breakfast, and see you next time on Chore Tips. I'm your host, Sam. Peace out. Everybody, welcome to Binge Watching. I'm your host, Sam. Today, I'm going to be talking about the TV show called The Rings of Power on Prime Amazon Prime, and I've all caught up on it, so i am finished episode 5, 6, and 7, I'm all caught up, I think there will be one more episode coming out of for that show, and it will be, probably be the last episode, and it will probably come out Thursday, and after it comes out, I'll watch it, and maybe hopefully wait till maybe they release season 3. But if they don't, then it, go check it out and watch it. And see you next time on Binge Watching. I'm your host, Sam. Peace out. Everybody, welcome to Family Fun. I'm your host, Sam. 
uh, for family fun this last Sunday. I had my friend David over and we talked. We hanged out and we played some video games. And the video games we played were we played the show 23 Baseball, we played Call of Duty Ghost, and we played G.I. Joe. Yo, Joe. And both of us did really good at G.I. Joe. Both of us did really good at Call of Duty Ghost, and we both did really good at the show 23 Baseball, and we did said good game after whoever won one, and we congratulate the winner, and good sportsmanship. And see you next time on Family Fun. I'm your host, Sam. Peace out. I am talking about the Lola region of the champion master. <clears throat> you may have already heard of the first champion master of the Lola, his adventurous trainer named Ash from Pallet Town. In the Kanto region since the day he turned 10. He said he been traveling the world, which is trusting the Pokemon Pikachu be become the best trainer he can be together. They work hard, playing hard, and make friends with many Pokemon people along the way. In, in Lola Ash, not nobody found a friend. The legendary Pokemon, Tepe uh, Coco, the guardian Mermaid Island, Tepe Coco watched over the, the battle of Ash immediately gave Ash the first Z ring and a Z crystal. This let Ash the first Z move with the Pikachu powerful um, 1000 volt Thunderbolt. Ash knew that Every day, best trainer have a lot to learn, and he was very concerned about the Z move. So he controlled himself in the famous local Pokemon school. His his teacher was Professor Kokui. <clears throat> also, we know as the famous trainer and the TV star, the mask royal who helped, was helped starting the battle league in the Lola. Just like other regions and, to, and together, Ash and Professor were both able to see the dreams become reality. After the opening call, trainers to compete, the Lola League was born. The Mini Cola Conference and Ash and Ash his Pokemon won the high, the highest honor, the champion master of of Lola. Thank you very much. Adios. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wrestling Wall Boys 2.0. I'm your host, Sam. Uh, I'm 
we talked about WWE Monday Night Raw, and the second match on Monday Night Raw was Live Valkyria versus Zoe Stark, and the winner of the match was Zoe Stark, because Shayna Baszler extracted the referee, and Sonia Deville, I think, got involved and extracted Live Valkyria, and Zoe Stark took advantage and won the match. So actually, they cheated, but that's just my my opinion. Uh, and see you next time on Wrestling Wild Boys 2.0. I'm your host Sam. Peace out. <laughs>
And uh, I, I, I know the code uh, and he sang he sang when to to the same high school like me. So I, I know him very, very well to yes. And uh, what about for you, Daniel? Uh, um, uh, yeah, um, so I have, um, spring shoe in the picks swimming on Saturday morning. And it's going to be fun. And then I have a red carpet party um, for, for Miss Gupita. All right. So, the plan of action. What? Monday, did you start with the Olympics? Well, uh, I started special. Oh, 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 Olympics, uh, uh, a long time ago. What about for you, Daniel? Me? Um, I started, um, Peng Su Olympics long, um, long ago, but, um, I, um, I started um, I started skiing, but I I started skiing back um back in Sun Peaks. Oh nice! When I was eight. Oh nice! Good, good for you, Daniel. What about the boy or Lisa? sound? Uh, for me. <clears throat> I thought it since I was two. Nice. Nah, you were. Yeah, I thought it the, the Special Olympics. I was two completely of, um, um, after I uh, went to school. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because they have programs for people, all gifted kids for me to go to the different school for me to go to. And they, my parents told me I am gifted. Now I'm going to a different, uh, different uh, school in in, in the, the Special Olympics. So I'm doing the Special Olympics. Uh, on when I get uh, I get there in theory, I'll start um my Olympics there uh there very soon. Nice. Yeah. So. Oh. Thanks for watching, uh, everyone. My name is George, Daniel, Mariah, and Lisa. Bye for now. Ciao. Peace. Right out. Welcome to Podcasters. I'm your host, Sam. Today, the podcast group, the state virtual stage podcast group, hosted one podcast with five separate podcasts in it. And you can check them out on, check it out on Anchor and Instagram and I think Twitter as well. And... Go take a lesson, check it out, and see you next time on Podcasters. I'm your host, Sam. Peace out. Everybody, welcome to Beats 2.0. I'm your
your host Sam. Today I'm going to be talking about the album called The Best of Buble. And there is 21 songs on this album. And it it's a new album, Buble album. It just came out this year. And, and, and like the end of September. And so if you like Bub- Michael Buble's new album, music or a fan of his music or just like it just him as a singer go check this album out on itunes and take a listen check it out and see you next time on beats 2.0 i'm your host sam peace out Everybody, welcome to Harker Gamer. I'm your host Sam. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the game called the game I've been playing recently, and I'm gonna talk about today is the baseball game The Show 23. And I'm gonna currently play it right after this video. And I'm playing it currently. And it's a really good game. You can choose any of your favorite any any baseball team or your this favorite baseball team. And, and then you can also play against your friends, because it's one to four players, so it, you can play with a, a friend, and it's a really good game. I really enjoy it. I do like the show games, baseball games, and if you have it, play it, but if you don't, you can pick it up at your game store, and see you next time on Hardcore Gamer. I'm your host, Sam. Peace out. <laughs> Welcome to New Games. I'm your host Sam. Today I'm going to be talking about the game, the spooky Halloween zombie apocalypse game called Days Gone. And it's about you're a character named Deke, Deke in St. John, and you have to find your dead wife, uh, Deke in St. John's dead wife. It turns out to be alive. Uh, and you get to fight zombies and zombie bears and zombie wolves and hordes and all that. And this game came out April 26, 2019 for PS4 and PC. And you can pick it up at the working game store, but if you already have it, I recommend playing it. And see you next time on New Games. I'm your Sam. Peace out. Thanks for joining me on the Virtual Stage Report. I'm your host, Sam. Bye for now, and peace out. This has been an episode of the Virtual Stage Report.